What's happening everyone, it's Dealer Destro, back with another Modern Era G.I. Joe review. And for this video, I wanted to go back into the archives and take a look at one of my favorite, probably offerings from the club of all time. And this is the Cobra Trainer, codenamed Big Boa. Um, so yeah, so funny story behind this guy. They, when they posted him for sale on the club store, I missed, I missed it. A, I wasn't a member. And B, I didn't I didn't add the membership and the figure fast enough to my cart before checking out. So I missed it. I missed this figure at club price. And man, let me tell you, after what he started going for on the secondary market, I was kicking myself. Because they had him on the club for like 30, 35 bucks. Maybe 39, I don't know. And secondary market prices on this guy are outrageous but I can see why um, so full disclosure I bought this loose from a member at his tank and this person's name escapes me so I apologize for that but um, I did not get the the training or the sparring pole with it and that that's okay like I'm not whatever that's that's fine I think I knew that going into this um, I was really more concerned about, you know, the sparring mask, the weight, the extra hands, and I really didn't care about this, but I'm glad they had it. Um, so yeah, so, whew, man, this figure is awesome. Okay, so obviously I got this loose, so I'm not responsible for what you see here. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, there's what's left of the artwork, and that's pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. Switching this over, we have what we're used to, like a, 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 a well-flushed-out, well-written-out file card. So I'll leave that up there for any of y'all that have not seen or read this yet. And then there, okay, and then that's that. So I'm going to put that to the side here. And let's get down to business. So he comes with what I have anyway. <clears throat> a three three quarter inch scaled dumbbell and that's fantastic um i think i mean it would have been funny if they gave him like a full weight set but whatever i mean i don't know how you're gonna squeeze all that on a card right he comes with these extra hands and they are the fingers are exposed and they are they are painted on there quite nice so I don't display him with these because, for obvious reasons, I mean, I like him with the, with the boxing gloves on, as ridiculous as that seems, I guess. Um, and then he comes with Tollbooth's hammer. I'm not sure why. I'm not even sure if the original one came with it. And he comes with this sparring helmet. And we'll, we'll look at this a little more in detail later because this, this is quite hilarious. Um, all right, so putting all that aside for a second, let's get down to business with the figure here. So, we got, oh man, these figures are so freaking awesome. It's one of the few times I'll give the club praise. I like to give the club a hard time because, you know, for obvious reasons, I don't agree with a lot of what they do as far as when they assemble their figures, but these, whoever, whoever was on point for putting this guy together, Man, I hope that dude got a raise. I hope he's still with him. Um, you know, so anyway. Let's see how close I can get in here. That's pretty close. This head sculpt is amazing. Flat out amazing. One of the best that I've seen in the line, period. Especially stuff that we've gotten from the club. Stuff that we've gotten from the club as of late. I mean, I don't even want to talk about it, like QC wise, whatever. This is from an era that is long since past. I mean, look look at those paint apps. Sharp. Then you, you got red, silver, 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 red, more silver on this kind of off-white cream uh head sculpt. And it looks amazing. Flat out amazing. The web gear, fantastic. Sculpted in red with the with the spikes, <clears throat> getting the silver accent treatment, silver belt buckle. I want to say, okay, so this might have been cast in blue, and this painted to match, 
And I'm not sure how that's showing through on the camera, but that is a 100% match, ladies and gentlemen. That is a 100% match. And then you got the red painted on uh, over that as well. A little wonky here, like it, they didn't take it down like a straight line like they did here. Not sure what happened there, but whatever, you know, I'll give them a pass all day long on that. Um, more red here on the uh, pant leg to highlight the straps. You got black, uh, black knee pads, knee guards. And then coming down on the boots, you got these well-applied red stripes of paint on the shin guards. And then I want to say this whole figure, aside from these gloves and this head and this web gear, is a, re uh, a reuse of the Cobra Night Adder figure. I want to say that was the um, figure, the security figure that came with the, the Pitbull or the Rottweiler or whatever it was um, in the Rise of Cobra line. So zooming out, he's got his Cobra tattoo on his arm, and that looks flawless. If I can get in here on that, I'm not sure how. There we go. A uh, little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, 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 started to lose it there. Sorry about that. Okay. So that that is crisp. I mean, th this this here, this figure is a prime example of what you should expect from a club figure. What we've been getting lately, it's been a little touch and go, but this figure here is the epitome of what a subscription-based figure should be. And then, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, molded in red, white Cobra insignias on both gloves. Both are flawless. Um, and then you've got the trim on both gloves. And then look at that. I mean, look at that attention to detail right there. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. This by far is one of the best, again, the best figures to come out of Brian's wheelhouse. Seriously. <laughs> and I want to say this might have been the same wave that we got dice from, which was also... A fantastic update to to a classic figure um, so yeah so that's what it looks like from the back and then I guess let's just go ahead and get into articulation this is probably one of the better articulated figures too um, again and that's just because of the parts they chose to use so going up you can get that or you can get Adrian yo Adrian so you <laughs> I mean there there isn't really anything you can't do with this guy as far as getting a pose. I mean, you can get the, look at that. Star punch, not included, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately. All right, so legs, you'll never have this guy in a vehicle, but if you wanted him in a vehicle, rest assured, he could accommodate any vehicle you want him in. Um, excellent use of the double knee joint, however, being that this this mold is what it is, you don't really get much because of how it's sculpted, and that that's okay. Because if you wanted to get like get him like in a crazy like knee down pose, you I mean pretty much sky's the limit. Sky's the limit all day long. Um, what else? Okay, so for the feet, you get down, no up, and then you get your standard in out movement again this is this was before they started offering that updated ankle joint so i'm not even mad and then if you wanted to take the gloves off it's soft these are these are soft plastic so there's very little risk in in breaking them um, i mean they pop right out and it feels it feels good like it doesn't feel like you're going to break anything now with the hands it's a bit of a different story like i'll, I'll put whoops i'll put the hands in just barely because I don't like to mess with stuff like this, really, um, for fear that it could something could go awry and it could break. However, that's what he'd look like, you know, if you if you chose to 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 give him his his hands. So so there's that. So I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna pop these suckers back on because it is just man, it's like ah uh, yeah. This is one of my favorite figures in my whole collection. And I mean, it's a, it's a straight up update of his vintage counterpart except he has some heft to him this time around and like the old school like you know how the old school scale was right like you get an o-ring figure and it, it 
supposed to be a bigger dude, but he's the same size as all the other ones. This this they took some liberties, and they actually they made they made him look like he's been on like a meal plan, not skipping out on the gym. Um, so I I appreciate that. Again, one of the best figures to come out of the club's wheelhouse. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna bring some some side guys in so you can get some some size comparison. We're gonna size him up to like a regular trooper or whatever, and uh, you know we'll be we'll be back and talk about that. All right, so here he is with a couple of his trainees, and how how you like that? How do you like that? Sparring mask actually has some use. I mean, what? How else are you gonna get these? these lackeys motivated to finish their push-up sets unless you keep them under the heel of your boot. So I'm just going to end this video with, I can't say enough good things about this figure. This is, like I said, this is one of the best figures the club has offered to date. Um, it's tough. I mean, it's, it's tough to one up yourself after putting out something like this. And, you know, that's pretty much what we've seen. Um, I regret not buying into this first figure subscription service when it was announced, um, simply because he came with a, with quite the the price point. Not used to what I'm paying for a figure of in this scale, but because of what it is, because of how it is, the presentation, the overall, the essence of the original character is is captured, and not only that, but built upon like they laid a new foundation and built something new on it um yeah this is this figure is probably one of my favorite pieces in my collection this just the heft the the the, the way that the the paint the use of the new to the new parts that that you get with him um made this worth it for me so I'm gonna end on I'm gonna end this video on a high note, which is not something that I do very often with club figures because I'm very critical of them given the price point that they that they come at. But this is this is definitely a case where they definitely knocked it out of the park. So kudos to those guys. Again, appreciate you guys tuning into my videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Um, so take care. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks a lot.